Creating a custom sprite material instead of just using the ones that come with Paper 2D by default allows you to take your 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games to the next level. Some examples of what you can do with a custom material can be seen in my Sprite Flash tutorial, where we make a character's sprite flash when taking damage, or my video about using normal maps and creating edge lighting for your sprite. However, there are still many more use cases for making a custom material, such as recolors, outlines and so on. By the way, I finished creating all 10 episodes of the Paper 2D Basic series. And you can get instant access to all of them right now on Patreon through the $6 tier. Of course everybody on YouTube will get access to these videos over the next couple of months, but joining the Patreon is a great way to support the channel and will give you a head start with your 2D game development. With the $12 tier you can also get early access to all my other videos and you'll get your hands on the Paper 2D Cheat Sheet, which has many useful resources about making 2D games in Unreal Engine that will save you a lot of time. By default the sprite material is set to masked unlit sprite material, which is great for 2D only games. When making 2D 3D hybrids though, you will most likely want to use the built in masked lit sprite material to allow receiving of shadows and lights. A custom material can be used for both lit and unlit materials and will work either way. The first step is locating the default sprite material. The easiest way of doing this is to check the details of one of your sprites or flipbooks and then look for the material settings. Click on the folder icon to open the material in the content browser. Here you can now see all the materials that come with Paper 2D. Now we want to select both the default lit sprite material and default sprite material. Then drag them somewhere into your content folder. I prepared a subfolder called materials here. Make sure to select copy here, not move here, since that will remove the materials for all of your projects and break things. Now we can rename the materials to m underscore custom lit sprite and m underscore custom unlit sprite. If you open these up you can see that there are a few differences. The lit material has a roughness and metallic value you can adjust. It also comes with support for normal maps. The shading model is set to default lit. The unlit sprite is a lot simpler and is missing some of the notes the lit material has. Here the shading model is set to unlit. Let's now create a material instance for each of these. Instance materials will allow us to easily make changes to them without triggering shader recompilation and should always be used. Right click your custom lit sprite and create material instance. For the name delete the underscore inst suffix and just call it mi underscore custom lit sprite. Then do the same thing for the unlit sprite material. On our sprites we can now select either of these material instances. We can also adjust the project settings so that all new sprites use these materials by default. Here you can now select the lit default masked material and set it to our custom mi underscore custom lit sprite material. For the unlit default masked material we can select our custom mi underscore custom unlit sprite material. As you can see there are also translucent and opaque materials here which you could replace with a custom version if the need arises. When you create or extract new sprites they will now automatically have the material you set up applied to them. However this does not apply to flipbooks and you'll have to set it manually. This should then carry over to when you use the flipbook within a blueprint. And now that all of the connections between your materials, material instances and sprites are set up correctly, you can proceed to change whatever you need to within your materials and it will be applied to your sprites. As always thanks to my patrons for making this tutorial series possible.